God, I love that flag. service, sir. Mm, coffee. Oh, can't start a morning without coffee. And frankly, a view like that. Mmm. Ah, dang. Yeah. I should get a job. Go live in a city. And give up this homeless life. It's not good for me, you know, apparently. It's just really bad for me. Yeah. I should become like everybody else. I'll have my coffee and maybe we'll think about it. All right, guys. So, look at what I found. Somebody's already cut up a tree here. Um, looks like it's pretty dry wood. Um, they got it all chopped into pieces. And uh, Stephanie, um, before I left, I was mentioning I wouldn't mind a larger axe, but I don't really need one. Um, and she's like, oh, well, I think we have one. And before I left, hand me this. Now, it looks like it needs some sharpening, but I'm going to give it a whirl. Um, this end here, the flashy end, looks like it might have a little more bite uh, before I start sharpening it. I'm a little nervous with a two-headed axe. Um, to be honest, um, I wouldn't have normally got a two-headed axe, but we're going to give her a whirl. Um, looks like that end might be able to do something. We'll see what happens. Um, probably have to go sharpen it. I'll put this on a little time lapse. And uh, the stump it came from, it's looking like a good chopping block to me. Yeah. You guys don't mind this? Oh, now I'm talking to you, you don't want to talk back? You're just yapping away the whole time and now you don't want to talk back. All right, well, I'm going to get to her. You can watch me make a fool of myself. I'll probably end up having to sharpen this. Um, but I want to give it a whirl to see how she does. We'll see. Anyway. Well, that sucks. This wood's pretty wet still. Um, you can tell by the axe getting stuck so easily. Um, I mean, the one side of the axe is actually quite sharp. The other side's pretty dull. Um, just had a little bit of surface rust on it. It's no big deal. So, I think I'm going to take a walk and see if we can find another tree to mess with. And uh, worst case scenario, I have to go get the chainsaw and we'll find a 
standing dead. Well, actually, that one's a little big for what I want to do, but you got the idea. Uh, there's one over there. I'm sure if you can see it. More my size. Uh, can I get zoomed in on it? No, no, no. Right there. Can you see it? It's a poplar. Not the best, but hopefully it's not too um, dead or too uh, punky. But this is, uh, yeah, this is getting really difficult to cut. Uh, there's a lot of moisture coming out of it. You can actually see it in that one. I wasn't even going to try and cut that one. Actually, I think that was the first one I tried and I went, no. <laughs> but, I mean, there was, uh, I, I took some dry pieces off um, from dry sections of the logs, but like this is just, this is paper paste, this stuff here. You can almost break it with your fingers. So, we're going to carry on down there, see if we can find some more wood. And we'll have a campfire tonight. That should do me. Got those cut logs. That's more sticks. I don't know. My brain wasn't thinking straight. I was going into the bush with an axe like Paul Bunyan. Uh, <laughs> and then I took the chainsaw back there. I brought back a handful and went, why am I cutting it up out there when I can just drag it back to camp and cut it all up here? And uh, yeah, so that's what we've done. Um, I really don't need big chunks like this. It's just one guy, right? Um, those are nice and you know there will be a time you know I will burn those um, but this is perfectly fine this is what I talk about when I say standing deads and deadfalls in the bush the most important rule though if you're gonna go get uh, trees okay if you notice these trees okay there's a wet spot here I probably won't use that section but if you notice it was kept off the ground everywhere else okay um and it's the ground that makes it go bad just like this one here it was off the ground it was on another uh punky piece um, so when you're picking up deadfalls in the bush you don't want to just pick up anything that's laying on the ground you want to pick up the stuff that's laying off the ground on the ground if that makes sense you know uh, let me see if i got a good example okay this one that's got the punkiness on the end okay if i was in the bush you see the bottom one, way down there, this one here, that one I would never touch because you can see it's on the ground there, it's on the ground there, it's on the ground over there, all the way along. So that one's garbage, but everything on top of it is off the ground, 
okay there's airflow all the way around all these so if you're gonna go into the bush and you're gonna get deadfalls that's what you're looking for if it's on the ground leave it alone but if it's arched and uh, yeah without taking a hike through the bush uh, it's really hard to explain um, this is the best explanation if it's arched like that off the ground and it's got airflow all the way around it that's a good piece of wood why not burn that I mean that's in the I mean it's not that size but it's a decent sized log and you know round logs actually burn longer than uh, square logs so or cut logs um, so yeah I've got all my kindling here all these little teeny branches and everything all my kindling and everything small sticks work my way up to bigger sticks and then I got the blocks over there but I really I don't know if I'm gonna end up burning those it also depends on this wind um, it can be very very windy here uh, I'm not sure if you noticed that but uh, yeah last night the wind didn't stop before dark usually it stops before dark but last night it didn't uh, not that I was gonna have a fire last night anyway but oh anyway I'm gonna get to chopping that up and uh, well I'm gonna have a little break and then I'm gonna chop that up because I'm a fat man oh I gotta chase the Sun some more my solar panel it's getting in the shade you gotta chase the Sun all day long it's what it takes to give you these YouTube videos. I can't afford another one of those panels. That's a $450 panel. Um, yeah, and it's Ankler's exclusive plug. Oh, I'm so mad about that. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna get to her. Take the little chainsaw, and we'll just go zing, 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 zing. And I don't have to burn the blade as much, or the battery. It'll be quicker. Quick and easy. See you in a bit. Oh, guys, it's about that time. I got all my little firewood piled up. You know, you don't need big ones. We just, I don't know. I'm just chilling here by the fire. <clears throat> by the fire. By the fire pit. I haven't got a fire in there yet. I might put one in a little bit here. The wind has died down pretty good. So that was a nice surprise today, um, Mr. Jagmeat, um, bailing on the supply and confidence agreement with Trudeau. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hey, I wonder if he's going to put his money where his mouth is and actually vote for a no confidence in the government. But uh, hey, at least he, he did a thing. Although he does spend a lot of time griping about Trudeau and then voting with him. So is anything going to change? I don't know. Either way, I do fear um, this might have been planned all along um, when the agreement was first signed. Um, and I just have a funny feeling. It feels very similar to Brian Mulroney. Or was it Mulroney? No, Harper. When uh, he, uh, was it Harper or was it Mulroney? I think I said Harper in my other video. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think it was Harper. Uh, when he um, felt the winds of change coming, what did he do? He just prorogued Parliament. And uh, I have a funny feeling. Just, I hope I'm wrong, but I have a sinking suspicion that's coming. Trudeau's government is you know, getting attacked on all sides with Parliament about to resume. Their summer campaign didn't go as planned. Heck, their own ministers want to get rid of him. 
Um, I think they're trying to look for a reset button. And they're about to go into Parliament. And I think the reset button was planned out when they made the Supply and Confidence Agreement. That uh, just before, a year before, um, they'll hit a pirogue. And then come back in January, January, February, whenever they come back. And they can campaign for that time. And then Jag gets his pension. Because, well, got to get your pension, right? Anyway, no, it's too much politics. Anyway, I hope I'm wrong. I hope uh, we go in to Parliament and uh, we have a session of Parliament that's productive. Doubt it will be, but I hope, I can hope. That's all I got. Um, maybe it'll get to a point where we'll actually get a a uh, an election. Anyway, I'm just chilling out here now. Just, meh, I don't know. Probably gonna get a fire going. And uh, it's supposed to rain, I think, overnight tomorrow, right through to Sunday. Ew. <laughs> um, for I forget who was asking. I think uh, it was a campfire girl. Anyway, um. You were asking about that rubber membrane. It's uh, the same rubber membrane that um, you use to uh, waterproof your basement. Um, that's kind of the stuff I'm thinking of. It'll stick to anything, and uh, it's waterproof, and it's rubbery, so it's got some resilience to it. A um, little concern with the UV, but I might switch over to um, ice and water. Um, for the whole roof at some point. This is my plan anyway. I'd like to put some ice and water, like basically envelop the whole thing in ice and water when I get around to insulating and everything. Uh, but geez, I've only had a, a day to myself. <laughs> I have a lot of little plans that are long term. Long term, but little plans, you know, just little things that I can make videos about, you know, one day, hey, I put some ice and water on the roof or, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, that's what it was. That's, that's the stuff I have. I, I have it in one of the blue boxes in the front of kid, Kitty there and I just got to pull it out. Anyway, I, I don't know, I get pretty tired. Maybe I won't have a fire. Maybe I did all that work for nothing. <laughs> You'll know in the morning. <laughs> Welcome to the fringe, everybody. Welcome to the fringe. I'm with you.